Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at Microsoft Photos, how they've managed to ruin it, how to get rid of it, and how to restore the old version should you wish to. So let's get over to the computer straight away and take a look and see what they've done to this poor application. Okay, so this is a Windows 11 device. So if we just go down to the bottom here, type in Photos, and we'll open up the Photos app. And as you can see, it looks very, very different. So there's a lot of features they've added, which allegedly are good, but this does slow down your PC quite considerably, and it also does invoke a lot of AI processing in the background. And some of you will notice that it starts up much, much slower. So the general layout, you've got your all photos. You've also got your OneDrive. It tries to nag you into doing that. Also, it can now link to iCloud Photos. So again, it's more of that online stuff. I want my photos to be my photos on my computer, not somebody else's, but anyway, that's enough of that. So yeah, you get the general idea and you can obviously just click on a picture to go into it and do various bits and pieces to it. So this pretty much sucks. So if you want to get the old version, you can actually get the old version from here. So click on settings and also you can make tweaks as well. So if you want to uh, get rid of attributes, you want to show iCloud photos, you want to get rid of that all that kind of stuff. You can do all that. But if you do want to get the old version back, right down here at the bottom, you've got Photos Legacy. So this is now called Photos Legacy and it's available to download for free in the Microsoft Store. Now I'll try and get some links for this. Um, it's not actually easy to find, so that's why I'm doing it this way around. So we choose Get Photos Legacy and the Microsoft Store will pop up and you can then choose to get it. So we'll download that. It'll be a very small download. And there we go just under 80 megabytes, which is uh, is much better. So now if we click on open. Yeah, it's basically a uh, slightly better version than what it was previously, a bit more usable. And you've got your albums and all that kind of stuff that you had as you had before. No, we still don't want ClipChamp. So there you go. That's how to get the old version back if you want to use the old version. Alternatively, if you just want to get rid of it altogether, now, there's various things you can do. If you want to just prevent it from starting up on your PC, you're not too bothered about it being in the background, but you don't want it to be using resources that your PC could be otherwise using. So do that, click on the start flag, go into settings, then go into apps and go to installed apps and then type in photo. And you've got both versions there. So photos, if you click on the three dots on the side, you've got your advanced options. So you've got this option here. So let this app run in the background and choose never. So that'll basically stop it from running in the background, which is probably a good thing anyway. Also, you can terminate it, you can reset it, repair it, or you can uninstall it, which uh, I think we'll do. So let's do uninstall, click on uninstall, and it'll get rid of the application for you. If we go back to our installed apps now, type in photos, and all we've got left now is photos legacy. So that is going to make life a little bit easier and a little bit quicker. So now you type in photos. You can open a legacy app. It's a little bit quicker. And again, some of you may prefer this. Alternatively, if you want to, obviously, if you don't want that as well, just get rid of it as well. And you can just use a third party tool. So there we go, not entirely the end of the world, although this app does seem to slow down Windows performance a little bit. Obviously, if you're on a very high-powered system, then you're probably not going to notice it. But for those of you who are on more fringe systems, slightly older systems, you will find that this is going to hog some system resources and potentially could uh, stop your PC running at its best. So there you go. Hopefully this video has been useful. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.